Hey guys, it's Rohai here again, and I want to make a quick little video on how I have been paragoning because I've had a lot of requests on how I've paragoned so quickly, so efficiently in the last few months. For those who don't know, um, I'm paragon 800 plus right now. I believe I'm right now as this video is being made, I'm 819. I did have kind of a late start on the paragoning race, so I have been really efficient as of late. So how have I been doing it? I'm not a necessarily skilled player compared to some other players out there. I do a lot of little things right, and I believe if you do enough little things, it leads to a big thing. So what run have I been doing? Alright, so my run is actually based around the bounties that give you a lot of experience, a lot more than the usual bounties do, and they're very quick to do, so they're very efficient. I did not invent this run, uh, a lot of pro players do do it. I'll still run through the route, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because like I said, it's nothing secret. I'm just letting you guys know exactly what I do, how I got the Paragon 819. Pretty much you want to look for a list of bounties every time you enter a game. Clear the Khazra Den, uh, it's very fast, you just jet through the to the Khazra Den, you do not kill anything on the way. Once you get to the Khazra Den, kill a few of the mobs at the start, jet through, kill the elites at the end, get the bounty. Next thing you do, check for other bounties. Clear the forward bar barracks, and I also do uh, clear Kratos outposts. They're both in Act 3. Uh, they're very efficient, like I said, you just go and clear them. Um, it doesn't take long to clear them. And the next one I do is clear the Hell Rift. Um, I go right to Hell Rift 2, I don't kill a single thing, I just vault right through with my Demon Hunter. And then I clear the Hell Rift 2. It literally takes seconds at times. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than other, but um, each of these bounties uh, give you about 82 million X XP with the bonus XP. So yeah, get a bonus pool and try not to die. Another bounty that I do is in Act 1 actually. A lot of players don't or kind of skip this one, but I think it's really worth it. It's not worth 82 million exp experience. Uh, but it's worth, I think, 44 million, ex or 44 million experience, and it's very fast. It literally takes me two seconds to do it. It would take you guys two seconds as well, so it's very efficient. I can still keep uh, around 5 billion experience per hour using this one, so I like throwing it in my run. And it's uh, uh, the Cursed Cellar, and it's an Act 1. So go in, clear that, takes two seconds. Um, like I said, you just vault right to the Cursed Cellar, go in, do the quest, grab the two chests, peace out. But pretty much, do those bounties, uh, there's really no secret to it besides uh, vaulting right through Zerg style. For those wondering what are the stats like on these run, um, I run this, uh, do this at Torment 6 and I get about 5 billion XP per hour on average. I get about 3 legendaries per hour on average, which isn't a lot. I get actually, I can get over 10 per hour uh, if I'm doing T6 rifts. So it's not the most efficient to get legendaries. Paragoni is the only thing I really care about right now. So if you're going for legendaries, this probably isn't the run. Also insane for getting gold, obviously. With XP, it usually scales with gold as well. Especially right now, it's a double gold weekend. So if you guys want some gold right now, it's the best time to do these runs. You get insane gold. Um, what difficulty should you be running it at? T6 is obviously the best. Uh, if you can't clear T6, I always use this as a rule of thumb. Uh, if you're not killing elites in 8 to 10 seconds, lower the difficulty. Um, another rule of thumb is if you're dying in the games, lower the difficulty. You don't want to die. You want the bonus pool of 25% uh, bonus XP because it does count in quests. Some items that I abuse. Uh, I do abuse Harrington's. Um, it's a crazy belt. Uh, I do use Witching Hour and as soon as I see the chest, you know, I pop up the Harrington's and there's a lot of chests. You don't even need the Witching Hour. You can usually just keep the Harrington's. It's good enough. A lot of chests and stuff like that that you can really abuse. Unity Ring, it's pretty straightforward. A lot of you guys might be saying, yeah, it's obvious right now, but um, it does help you boost up the T6. For those who don't know, you put a Unity on your follower and you wear Unity yourself, you get some pretty beasty Unities. They're great for DPS and they get you double your toughness, which is insane. Some stats that I kind of aim for is the only stat I really go for is I try to get about 10 million toughness. And the rest, I just go for pure raw DPS. So I'll do anything for, I'll put all my stats in the skills. I have a lot of percentages, uh, sentries, uh, cooldown in the helm, items that you should not get. Uh, this is probably, the red ruby is a waste. I've done tests on it. You're better just to go with the diamond in the helm, or if you need the extra HP, throw in an amethyst. Um, those are way better than the 40%. You're getting most of your experience from the actual the actual bounties itself in this uh, case. So don't don't go with Leorix. That's another one that's just a waste of space. Pretty much, guys. Those are, there's not like I said. There's not much crazy secrets about where I run. I uh, in the month of July, I believe no one in the world I don't think got more experience than me. You can check that on. I, I'll drop a link below. There's a cool site you can check your your kind of uh, ratings for XP. As of right now, I believe this is the fastest way to Paragon solo. I know there's faster ways 
I'm not going to go into them, but uh, there's faster ways to do it in teams. Uh, but like I said, I'm a solo player, I always have been, and this is probably the fastest way to do it solo. And a lot of players, a lot of you guys out there are solo as well. And for those who don't know, I do use Marauder set. I'm not going to go into this build in this video. If uh, you guys do want to see a build video, I could, you know, I know a lot about uh, my Marauders build, uh, a lot more than a lot of videos out there probably have. Um, I did do crazy testing for Marauders just to make it, you know, maximize efficiency. So I do have some knowledge on that. If you guys want a video, just let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I said, nothing super special. It's just a lot of little things I do and I try to stay efficient and I try not to, uh, when I'm playing, I try to just stick to my task, bounty, 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 bounty. I kind of time myself, make myself faster. Little things like that will help you in the long run. Anyway guys, uh, like the video if you find it helpful or if you just want to be cool and like the video. Share the video with a friend. Um, it does help me a lot. Even if you comment on the video, I love comments. I read them all. Um, I always have a lot of uh, a lot of people that have followed this channel for a while know that I reply to a lot. Um, I, I play with a lot of players as I will be streaming soon as well. But anyway, I'll stop blabbering on. Hopefully this was useful for you guys and uh, happy Paragon guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.